Hello children, welcome back to math class. Now we are in lesson 4 of block 1. And the aim of lesson 4 is to identify odd and even numbers. The keywords used are even numbers, odd numbers. Now children, tell me the things which we can buy as pairs from shop. Tell me the things which we can buy as pairs from shop. Yes, very good. We can buy many things. Here I will show you few things which we can buy as pairs. First, in this picture, you can see a pair of shoes. Next comes pair of socks. Next come a pair of earrings. pair of gloves. So the th things which we can buy as pairs are a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a pair of earrings, a pair of gloves. Now it is very clear that what is a pair? A pair means it should have two in number. Again, a pair means it should have two in numbers. Now, in this picture, you can see apple, right? Now, my question is, do the apples make a pair? Do the apples make a pair? Yes, very good. The apples make a pair because here we have two apples here we have two in numbers so we can see that we can say that it make a pair now in the next picture do these apples make a pair yes children very good in this picture the apples is making a pair here we can see two apples. Here also we can see two apples. So together, all together we have four apples. And all these four apples make a pair. So the numbers which make pairs are called even numbers. Again, the numbers which make pairs are called even numbers. See here. The numbers which make pairs are called even numbers. The first point is even numbers make pairs. Again, even numbers make pairs. Next, next point, even numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Again, even numbers and with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. The two points you should keep in mind is even numbers make pairs. Even numbers and with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Examples are the number 20. The number 20 ends with 0. Here see the number 20 ends with 0. So we can say that 20 is an even number. Next 32. 32 ends with the number 2. So we can say that 32 is an even number. Next 34. 34 ends with the number 4. And 4 is an even number. So we can see that we can say that 34 is an even number. Next is 36. 36 ends with the number 6 and 6 is an even number. So we can say that 36 is an even number. Next comes 78 and 78 ends with the number 8. So we can say that 78 is an even number. 
So you should keep in mind that even numbers make pairs and even numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. After this, now look at this picture here. In this picture, you can see an orange, right? Sorry, okay. Here you can see picture of orange. Do the orange make a pair? No. Here, the orange is not making a pair. It does not, it does not make a pair. Here, now look at this picture. Do the oranges make a pair here? No, here one is left. Here one is left, one is extra. So we can say so we can say that it does not make a pairs. In this picture, the oranges the oranges are not making a pair. Now next picture here. Do all the oranges make a pair? Here it is pair. In this also here it is pair. But when we comes to here, it is not pair. One is extra, one is left without pairing. So we can say that in this picture the oranges are not pair. The oranges are not making pairs. So the numbers which do not make pairs are called odd numbers. Again, the numbers which do not make pairs are called odd numbers. The points here are, see, for, see the first point, odd numbers do not make pairs. Again, odd numbers do not make pairs. Odd numbers end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Odd numbers end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Examples are 11. See 11. 11 ends with the number 1 and 1 is an odd number. So we can say that 11 is an odd number. Next comes the number 13. 13 ends with the number 3. 3 is an odd number. So we can say that 13 is an odd number. Next 35. 35 ends with 5. 5 is an odd number, so we can say that 35 is an odd number. Next is 47. 47 ends with the number 7 and 7 and 7 is an odd number. So we can say that 47 is an odd number. And next is 59. 59 ends with the number 9 and 9 is an odd number. So we can say that 59 is an odd number. So it is very so now it is very clear what is even and odd numbers, right? And what are the properties of even and odd numbers? Now open your content book, page number 4. See, in this picture, you can see numbers from 1 to 50, colored with blue and orange shades. The numbers in the orange box ends with the number first uh, see see the first column so in the first box all the numbers ends with 2 so means all these numbers are even numbers next in this box all the numbers ends with the number 4 so all these numbers are even numbers next comes here all the numbers ends with 6 means all these numbers are even numbers. Again here is here it is ending with 8. Again all these numbers are even numbers. Here all the numbers end with 0. So we can say that all these numbers are even numbers. Now we will move to the green box. In green box the num first it is ending with the number 1 and number 1 is odd number so we can say that the number in the green box is odd numbers next comes this box here all the number is ending with 3 so we can say that 
here all the numbers are odd numbers here also the same here the number is uh, numbers are ending with 5 so all the numbers here are odd numbers here the number is ending with numbers are ending numbers are ending with 7 so all the numbers here are odd numbers here the numbers are ending with 9 so all the numbers here are odd numbers so here in this picture the number in the orange box ends with even numbers so all the numbers in the orange box are even numbers and in the and the numbers in the green box ends with odd numbers so the, all the numbers in the green box is odd numbers now examples shade the boxes with odd numbers now what is the rule of uh, finding uh, finding odd number yes the number should end with 1 3 5 7 or 9 first we will take the number 10 here 10 ends with 0 and 0 is an even number so we cannot shade the number 10 after 10 comes the number 1 we already learned that 1 is an odd number so we can shade the number 1 after 1 comes 22 here by mistake it is colored yellow now here uh, 22 22 ends with the number 2 and we know that 2 is an even number so we cannot color the number 22 after 22 comes the number 5 so here we already learned that 5 is an odd number so we can color the number 5 after 5 comes number 71 and 71 ends with the number 1 and 1 is an odd number so we can color the number 71 and 47 47 ends with 7 and 7 is an odd number so we can color the number 47 after 47 comes 80 here 87 87 ends with the number 7 7 is an odd number so we can color the number 87 comes 55 55 is an odd in 55 5 is an odd number so we can color 55 after 55 comes 93 93 ends with the number 3 and 3 is an odd number so we can say that 93 is an odd number after 93 finally it comes 98 and 98 ends with the number 8 and we know that 8 is an even number so we cannot color the number 98 and finally the answer look like this so the odd numbers here are 71 87 93 1 5 47 and 55 now question next question write two even numbers and two odd numbers two digit using the digits 1 2 and 5 the digits may be repeated in the number so here the given numbers are 1 2 and 5 and using these three numbers we have to write two even numbers and two odd numbers so in this given number first we will write the even numbers okay in the given numbers which all number are even in this given number the only even number is 2 so for writing the even number the rule is the number should end with 2 so here first number we can write here is 2 the number should end with 2 and the next place we can write any of the numbers we can write 1 or 5 here I am writing 1 so the first even number here is 12 also we can re repeat the numbers so the next even number is 20 2 next we have to write odd numbers here the odd numbers are the given odd numbers are 1 and 5 so the, uh, for uh, writing the odd number we should keep in mind that the number should end with 1 or 5 so here I am writing 21 you can write your own numbers the uh, thing you should keep in mind that the number should end with 1 or 5 and in the next place you can write any of the given numbers so here the number I wrote is 21 and 50 21 ends with the number 1 
and 1 is an odd number so 21 is an odd number and 15 15 ends with the number 5 and 5 is an odd number so 15 is an odd number now open your workbook page number 5 s4 thank you hello children open your workbook page number 5 s4 of block 1 here you have to write today's date first question circle the things that are in pairs so first one is a pair of socks so you can circle the socks pair of socks next comes spoon is the spoon paired can we see two spoons no so we cannot circle the spoon next here we can see two gloves right so it is paired so we can circle a pair of gloves Next question, write the even numbers in the first box, write the odd numbers in the second box. So here we are given a few numbers. We have to separate these numbers into even numbers and odd numbers. And we have to write even numbers in the first box and odd numbers in the second box. So first we will start with the number 12. 12 ends with the number 2. And 2 is an even number. So 12 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers box. Now 41. 41 ends with the number 1. So 1 is an odd, odd number. So 41 is an odd number. So it goes to odd numbers. Next is 90. 90 ends with number 0. 0 is an even number. So 90 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers. Next 33. 33 ends with 3. 3 is an odd number. So 33 is an odd number. So it goes to odd numbers. 66. 66 ends with the number 6. 6 is an even number. So 66 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers. 72 ends with the number 2. 2 is an even number. So 72 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers. 85 ends with the number 5. So 5 is an odd number. So 85 is an odd number. So it goes to odd numbers. 24. 24 ends with 4. 4 is an even number. So 24 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers. 1 is an odd number. So it goes to odd numbers. 2 is an even number. So it goes to even numbers. And third last question. Make an even and an odd two digit number using these digits. Here we are given 6, 5 and 1. Using 6 and 6, 5 and 1, we have to write even number and odd number. So first, we will write even number. So the only even number given here is 6. So we can write here 56. Also, we can write 16, 1, 6. So 56 ends with the number 6 and 16 also ends with the number 6. So you can write 56 or 16 here. Next we have to write odd number. Odd number ends with here the odd number should end with 5 or 1. So we can write 51 or 15. Both the numbers ends with odd numbers. So here we can write 51 or 15. And finally it looks like this. Homework, content book, page number 5, lesson 4, doing notebook. Thank you.